In waters the size of Lake Geneva, China is becoming a big fish in what was once a shrinking industry. These farm sturgeon will spend most of their lives in netted pens, bred for one reason only, caviar. Most of it once came from the Caspian Sea until overfishing almost wiped out wild sturgeon. Now caviar is being made in China. It's very clean, it's a cold temperature, and uh, it's very, very fresh and enough oxygen to the fish, so it can make a very healthy environment. Elsewhere in this province, the environment is not so clean. Zhejiang has a lot of heavy industry, blame for river and soil pollution. The question of food safety is one this company is prepared for. In the past 10 years, not only we passed all the food safety check from the Chinese side, but we also met the standard of the countries where we exported our caviar. That shows our products are very safe. To some, caviar has a glamorous and exciting image. That, though, ends here, the factory where they kill the fish to harvest their delicate eggs. But environmental groups say the killing is unnecessary because it's possible to remove a female sturgeon's eggs when she's alive. The company insists its methods are not cruel. We put them in the cold water and give them anesthetic to ease the pain of the fish. In this way, we can guarantee the caviar can keep its texture. But if you don't kill the fish, the eggs of the sturgeon are easily damaged. Well, this is 1.8 kilos of some of the most expensive food on earth. And this container of caviar will sell for about 6,000 US dollars. Once more, caviar is becoming a lucrative industry, with China perhaps on course to one day become the biggest producer of all. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera in eastern China.